list is not exhaustive. There are other herbs. And you guys, I want to go ahead and give you guys a little test question. What do I not have listed here that is really probably the most popular herb used for urinary tract infections? Okay, so first, nettle, horsetail, and you'll notice as you go along, these herbs all actually do different things. So you have juniper berry, which is a urinary tonic. We have uva ursi, and that is used as it is a urinary uh, antiseptic. So it actually helps to kill bacteria. Marshmallow is a demulcent. So that actually, it works on the mucous membranes, but it also works in the urinary tract as well. Uh, we have nettle and horsetail. Those are nutritives. They also are helpful for um, diuretics. So they help you to urinate and many more herbs that could be added to this list. So nettle, horsetail, marshmallow, buku, barley. And barley, you, a lot of times we don't think about it. We just think about, you know, you eat barley. Um, it's just a grain. But a lot of these herbs, even the culinary ones, are very medicinal. And ju uh, barley juice, very strong um, use for urinary tract infections. And I gave a recipe about um, barley juice or barley water with a little bit of lemon. Juniper berry, uva ursi, and blessed thistle. All right. So let me see if anyone did comment. Uh, and I don't see a comment. So the other one that is really popular is cranberry juice. All right. So nettle. Nettles contain high levels of calcium, silica, and other uh, minerals that can help strengthen the bones and the connective tissues. Nettle root most of the parts, whenever you're looking at nettle, it usually is the green, the green leaves. But the nettle root can also be useful for the kidneys and for the bladder. So um, as I was saying, nettle root, tonic for both the kidneys and the bladder. And we know that with the kidneys, the bladder, the, re the reproductive organs of both male and female are all complementary to the kidneys. So anything that is beneficial for the kidneys is going to be good for the bladder and so on and so forth. Nettle extract. So nettle extract was also shown to be anti-inflammatory. Um, nettle also is used for seasonal allergies, and um, it can help the body to produce histamine. Let's see if I have any more notes on nettle. Yes, okay. So nettle is astringent, and it can be drying, which if you're a person that's already constitutionally dry, you may want to add in other herbs that are going to be a little bit more moistening. So it's not overly drying. So nettle can help with hemorrhage. And, you know, that's with the astringency helps to tone, but it can also stop excess water and even blood. So hemorrhage. It's also helpful for the urinary tract infections. It's good for PMS, fertility issues, and stones in the kidneys. So it's also useful to stimulate milk production. But it is drying, so you don't want to use it in too much excess. But nettle is also safe for children and for pregnant women. It's really good because it does have that iron that can be really helpful when you are pregnant and you know you, your body needs um, is it has more blood. And so, what I also wanted to do, let me go ahead and show myself, and that's so I can show you the nettles that I have here. All right. So there are different types of nettle, stinging nettle. And this is stinging nettle here. Stinging nettle is the most popular used medicinally. All right. So I have my little plate here to show some of the herbs. And I didn't bring my funnel. So this is some nettle here. You can see that it's very green and it gives a nice darker color. It's very pigmented, uh, rich in those chlorophylls. Oh, wonderful. Uh, glad to see you. So yes, this is nettle leaf that I have here. And it's predominantly you use the leaf of the plant, but the root is also useful as well for prostate issues or any issues with the bladder. 
So nettle is nutritive. It has like a, so it's one of those quote unquote salty herbs, but it's a very good tasting herb. It's used in culinary, in culinary uses for like soups. The greens are really delicious, but because the stinging nettles have those little needles, you wanna make sure that you prepare it properly. And you can actually eat it raw as well, but usually people will just steam it. So they make sure that they don't have any of those little uh, needles. Now there also is a process called urtication and that's where people would kind of like beat themselves with nettles and it may sting right away, but it's useful for arthritis. So it's really interesting. And that is a plant that has been used for so long and that safety, safety and usage has goes for thousands of years. It's actually mentioned in the Bible. I think it's really interesting as well. So that is nettle, also known as Urtica diotica. All right, 